I was a power five college football coach. Here's an inside look at college football that you've never seen before. Let's break down the science behind offensive game planning and how an offensive coordinator and head coach break down a defense and make a plan to attack it. It all starts with situational awareness in college football, including down and distance and field zone. Each week, the opponent's defense is broken down situationally, identifying how a defense will align, what blitzes they bring, and what coverages they will play. Let's start with down and distance. Down and distance situations include what's called called base downs, which is first down and 10 and second down and six or less. Then there's second down and long, which is seven yards or more. And then third down and fourth down is broken into five categories. Short yardage, which is third down and fourth down and one. And then there's third and fourth down and short, medium, long, and extra long. Once a coaching staff identifies what a defense is trying to do based on the down and distance, they can then put in the plays they feel will be most successful given the down and distance. Rather than calling random plays like you probably do on Madden, the play caller will hear the down and distance every play in their headset and then have a set list of plays that they can call based on that down and distance. For example, it's the middle of the game and Lincoln Riley just heard third down and four on his headset. He now goes to his call sheet, looks at the third down and four section, which is third and medium, and he probably has three runs and three passes to choose from for that specific down and distance. Now there's only one thing that can trump the down and distance in the play caller's mind, and that's where the ball is on the field. We'll get into all of that on the next video. Like, comment, and follow Follow me for part two of the Inside College Football Series.